What is up, MMA fans? This is tudoleonteforshirt.com. And today I have the pleasure to talk with PFL heavyweight fighter, Mr. Stuart Austin. Hello, Stuart. Welcome back on Shirtdog. How are you today? Hello, Tudor. Thank you for having me. I'm good. He's, he's playing off slick, but there have been nightmare problems with my internet. He's Tudor is an absolute professional, and I've been uh, <laughs> messing around. No, no, no worries. No worries at all. Thank you very much for your patience. We had some technical problems be before recording this interview, but still, we're here. We're going to fight and push through any adversity. How was your, <laughs> your flight to the United States? I know that uh, right now you're already in Texas. Yeah, the flight was good. The flight was good. Um, I think, you know, any long flights kind of suck a little bit, don't they? Just sitting in a tiny little area with your knees up underneath your chin um yeah but no it wasn't too bad it wasn't too bad i i you know watched like three movies back to back <laughs> so it's like it's all good um so a, a curiosity of mine i know that uh, last year for example there was the you know the bubble the fighters were forced to stay inside the bubble when they arrive at the hotel you know due to the coronavirus uh situation uh are you free right now to you know to visit a little bit the, the city to move around the city or are you still uh, in in the hotel and forced to stay there Uh, we've, we've, we've actually got, uh, we're free at the moment. Um, they've basically just told us to like, you know, to be careful. Um, obviously probably not to go socialize and go to bars and stuff like that, but fight week, that's probably normal. <laughs> anyway. Um, but yeah, we're, we're free to move about now, I guess. Like, uh, that's, that's the nice thing with, with, uh, Texas. Um, you know, they're, they're pretty relaxed with their rules, but you know, they, they're, they're sort of being sensible, you know, kind of common sense. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I, I totally agree with, with you. Um, you are in the United States since you are scheduled to face Bruno Enrique Capelosa at PFL2 on April the 28th. Um, how was your camp in preparation for this fight and where have you been doing uh, your camp for it? Yeah, camp's been really good. Um, we've, um, well, I say we, <laughs> I've been at Titan Fight, which is my normal gym. Um, we've got a bunch of big, big heavyweights and light heavyweights there. Uh, most of our fighters at the moment are heavyweights and light heavyweights. So we've got, it, it's, it's been really, really, really good. Um, been pushed hard. I feel like there's always, always challenges in camp and that everyone, anyone who says, oh, I had a great camp, a perfect camp is an absolute liar. Everyone, you know, at some point like they'll, you know, you'll get sick or you'll, you know, your ankles hurt or something like this and, you know, like, and you're like four weeks out and like that. And then you, you remember the camp before and it was the same or the camp before that. And, you, you know, um, but no, it's been pretty good this time. We've um, we've had quite a few guys um, either just for got fights coming up. So um, so like the team is at the moment feels like it's on it is uh, on a roll. So uh, you, we had just Simeon Powell uh, fight and PFL just gone um, on uh, Wednesday night. And he, he won with that with that big knee to the head knockout. Super, super uh exciting knockout um but that's 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 the guy who beats one of the guys who beats me up in the gym <laughs> so i have to deal with that <laughs> no literally there are, there are no easy rounds at titan so um so yes it's been it's good being good preparation i was actually going to ask about uh, simeon since i interviewed him uh, uh when he was supposed to fight on the challenger series the first time Uh, before you know that that ma uh, matchup uh, fell off the card so uh did you guys had the the chance to have the chance to train together right yeah, yeah we uh, i train with Simeon a, a lot so we we normally train together at least at least three times a week sometimes it's five times um yeah he's, he's one of my regular training partners and sparring partners as well um Simeon is amazing he's still so young in the sport um And he's he's already, you know, like already making headlines, already knocking people out on big shows, making money. You know, he's doing <laughs> he's doing what everyone wants to do, you know, like uh, he's, uh, you know, his age, like I, I was not in his position, not quite. <laughs> he's, he's in an amazing position. I'm 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 just really happy for him. Yeah. Like we've he, he's not the only guy. We've got a, a bunch of, of young, young guys coming up at the moment. We've got um, 
this weekend we've got a, a, a Lou Sutherland is fighting. Um, he's he's a super exciting heavyweight with, with some really big knockouts on his records. Um, we've got a uh, corner of me at the moment is uh, uh, Mario Pinto. Uh, he's been fighting heavyweight now. We're thinking about moving into light heavyweight. He's a, a six foot six, just a huge, huge guy. Um, we knock out power and, and awesome <laughs> jiu-jitsu. So it's like, at the moment, we're, we're doing really good. Like, and, and it's not just, it's not Sim and me. It's um, Luke training Bellator at the moment. He's already, you know, he's, a again, another super scary guy with an endless gas tank and just, just there's no there's no escape. You know, you say, oh, you know, like, previously, like, you know, when I was younger, you'd be training somewhere and you'd be like, oh, man, those last three rounds were hard. Maybe I need one slightly easier one. I'll go with that guy. There's no escape. There's literally no escape. Everybody... Everybody in that room is spitting fire, and uh, it's it's awesome at the moment. Um, you mentioned quite some names. I, I'm actually following some of them since I'm covering events, so I, I knew some of the the names you you mentioned. Uh, and of course, you are a gentleman to giving uh, your training partners, uh, you know, the the shout out. So uh, I thank you on on their behalf. But still, let's talk a little bit about you since you're the protagonist of the upcoming fight. Um, I, will, I would like to hear, you know, I'm guessing here that you already know pretty, pretty well uh, Capelozas. He won the championship last year. Uh, what do you expect uh, from him going into this fight? Yeah, yeah. Bruno is a, is a really, really good fighter. Um, obviously, last year he, he had a... He had several big, big knockouts, and he had the, that crazy fight in the final uh, with Ante, uh, which which was like one of the best heavyweight fights of the year. Um, and just historically, like he he brings it, he, he he comes to have a fight. You know, he's not there to win a points to win a points match. He's not there to take a decision or do this or do that. You know, he's he's not going to try and tap and move around. Um, you know, he, he comes to kill or die. And I, I think it's going to be fun because, you know, you look at my record and his record, we tend to either finish the guy or get finished. You know, we both, like, bring the fight. We both, you know, like, really get after it. I think as well, like, we're probably the two most, like, two of the more experienced guys in, in the tournament as well. You know, like, if you look at who we who Bruno's fought and who I've fought, you know, Names-wise, we've both got wins and, and you know over some really really big guys and uh, and you know we've been competing against the best guys in the world for the last five years. You know. Yeah, for sure, for sure, I I, I agree. Um, and I I would like to 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 ask you about your PFL debut last year. Uh, but be, before that, who is going to be in your corner for this fight? Uh, for this one, it's uh, uh, Mario Pinto, who's one of one of my main. He's my probably my main training partner, um, day to day. Yeah, he's uh, he's my he's my guy in the room now. Um, no, he's he's a fighter as well, but he's he's my main training partner. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I understand. So uh, you joined the PFL uh, last year when you faced uh, Renan Ferreira. Uh, eventually, you lost uh, on that occasion, unfortunately. Um, in your opinion, what uh, went wrong that night? I mean, what went wrong was he he just hit me in the face and I fell down. You know, at the end of the day, like, heavyweights, if you make one error then it's it can be the whole fight you know there really there really is no room for error error at heavyweight um you know something that you might get away with it in a light division is is just a fight over um i'll be honest like it, that fight was horrendous for me like in just in terms of like i've never not had a fight and renan just came out and he 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 kind of dropped his level as he threw his threw his jab cross, and I read it as him throwing a jab. And now I thought he was going to go over the top with the cross. You can you even see me? I, I cover with my right hand, but I cover like very high because I expected him to go over the top, and he went under my guard. It, it was just it was just the guy who oops, sorry, uh, just the guy did something really really good on the night. Great technique, um, and it was a really good setup. And he just caught me. Um, 
it's very, very, very frustrating to have a fight end like that um, and not sort of make make a fair account of myself. Um, you know, I don't think there's not many people in the world who who've done around with me who who say, "Oh, that guy's an easy night." There's no, there's no, there's no easy money here. But um, you know, it just it really was my worst possible, the worst moment of my my kind of worst performance of my career and. And there's nothing to be said, you know, like fair play to Renan. He's he's an excellent fighter. Um, and he was the guy on the night, you know, he got his hand raised. But right now, I, I honestly don't care about that. I'm, I'm moving forwards. So uh, you are not going to push for our image with uh, him. I know that you're both uh, competing in this year's uh, heavyweight roster. I mean, to be honest, I don't see why I would push for a rematch. Like he kicked my ass super quick. There's no arguments. I know, you know, I got beaten um, fair and square. So, like, to me, the, what, what I want now is I want to win a million dollars, you know. <laughs> and the easiest way to win a million dollars is not to go, oh, that guy just kicked my ass, I want to fight him again, you know. I'm, I want to I wanna fight Renan, don't get me wrong, but I want to fight him at, at the right time. So I want to take this fight now. This is a fight I think I've, I've got a huge huge problem in front of me right now Bruno is, a, is an absolute beast um, and then I'm, you know that's my first qualifying fight and then I'll get another uh, fight and then I can't see why they would match us up in the second round if they do I'll take it but right now I'm focused on Bruno right now you know like I, I, I have enough on my plate to, uh, to be worrying about um, in, in kind of my head in my vision in my head right now is, is I could see myself possibly fighting Renan in the final you know like kind of a, a redemption moment, you know, get a, a moment where I can I can go and uh, you know get get that back. But you know, like I've got no problem, man. He, he, what can I say? You know, he, he beat me fair and square. There's nothing, nothing, to say, nothing to be said about that. I, I don't even worry about that. You know, like I worry about what's what's happening in the future. And uh, what about the rest of the heavyweight roster? I guess in here you at least check the names. Uh, is there anyone in particular whom you would like to pick and uh, and face in the second round? Oh, I'll be honest, the, the whole heavyweight roster is exciting because to my mind, as a competitor, like anybody who looks at my record, they're going to see, oh, you know, they recognize a bunch of the names and then the names they don't recognize, they're like, oh, that guy's had 30 fights, that guy's had 40 fights. You know, I don't really hide from anyone. I'm not one of these guys in the sport who's just trying to, had my record to build some wins to do I'm I'm here to challenge myself I'm a little bit more I feel like I'm a little bit more of the old school that way um and there's there's a bunch of guys in there who I think will be really really exciting fights and, and massive challenges um for me I want I want I would like to fight anti as well um so then in my head I'm like if I can right now if I can beat Bruno and if I can beat anti I'll beat last year's number one and number two that puts me in a great position, you know, and that's there. They're also really, really tough fights that are going to, I get super excited. I was so excited when they, when they told me Bruno, like as soon as like um, I recovered from the last fight, I actually, when I spoke to my manager, I said, I, I think I match up really well with both of you guys in the final. I'd love to fight Bruno. Um, and I, I, I don't think that's affected the matchmaking at all, to be honest. Um, but getting Bruno was like the most exciting thing for me. I'm like, that's, why wouldn't you want to fight the best guy? You know, like to me, I, I know there's a different a different mindset with a lot of the young athletes in the sport now. A lot of them like, oh, how can I get a win? How can I do this? And I'm like, you know, how can I, you know, I, I want to, I see the bullseye on somebody's back and that guy, that guy's the champ, you know. If I go and beat him, that sets me up to be, you know, the guy guy with the bullseye on my back. People are going to be calling my name after that, you know. So it's it's the most exciting fight out there. It's the most, for me, Bruno is the hardest fight in the, in the PFL. It's the most exciting fight in the PFL, and that's what I want. That's what I want my career to be about. I don't want to say people people go, oh, you know, yeah, he wants to, he beat some okay guys, and then you know, he, you know, I want to say like this guy fought everybody he could, you know, and in the time he could. Um, you are an European athlete. You fought for many years, you know, in in the uh, European regional scene. Um, in your opinion, you know, there are so many heavyweights in, in Europe, but do you believe that the level of the, of the heavyweight division has uh, grown up? 
you know, in recent years? Yeah, I think in, in Europe, I think the heavyweights are, well, as good as America and um, Brazil now, to be honest. If you if you look at the division, you know, like, I know Ngannou's uh, African, but, he, you know, like, he, he kind of came up in, in Europe and now he's moved over to the States now, but that's where, he, you know, where he built his name. Um, obviously, Cyril Gahn, you know, uh, Volk um, uh, Volkov, Alexander Volkov. Um and um, uh, Aspinall, you know, there's there's more and more of the heavyweight, the top of the division are Europeans. Um, I think, you know, obviously Americans and Brazilians are always going to be a, a huge part of MMA, but, um, you know, as the sport goes on and on, like, you know, everyone's catching up now. It's not like, you know, like 15 years ago, you know, when I was starting as, a, as an amateur or before I fought professionally, you know, it's like, oh, Brazilian guys are going to be a kickboxer with a bit of jiu-jitsu, but he, they can't wrestle. You know, in America, he's going to have a good takedown. Um, but, he, you know, their striking is not going to be so good. Maybe their kickboxing is not so good. You know, they have, probably have a bit of boxing. You know, a British guy is going to be a kickboxer who can't do anything else, you know. <laughs> but, you, you know, you see Aspinall, you know, Tom Aspinall right now, he's, his boxing is amazing, his wrestling is good, his jiu-jitsu is good. You know, he's he's complete. You know, Cyril Garn, he's complete, you know. Look at, look at Francis... Uh, um, you know, Francis, like, in his last fight, he showed how complete he was. You know, it's it's more and more people are, are kind of showing more and more attributes to the game. And obviously in Brazil and, and the States, you know, there's there's still all the killers from over there. You know, there's still all the monsters that would be there anyway. But now there's a whole, you know, there's more and more continents jumping in and, and giving us problems. <laughs> so it's awesome. As a fellow European, I totally agree with you. Uh, so, Lisa, I almost finished my questions. Um, have you already picked your workout song? Uh, I, they haven't asked me. I assume they... It, it's... It, I don't even know what it's going to be. It's um, either... Um, oh, man, you know, it's gone out of my mind. It's gone out of my mind. <laughs> you put me on the spot. Um, oh, my word. I'm going to have to come back to that. I literally... Uh, no worries, no worries, no worries. Uh, oh. I, Recently, I like to torment fighters about their workout song. I'm looking for new music suggestions and <laughs> I like to ask fighters about it. But still, no worries. We're, it's going to be a surprise. We're going to, to wait. <laughs> It'll be a surprise to me because I, I can't remember what I said. <laughs> that is terrible. Oh, my word. <laughs> Stuart, thank you very much for giving me a little bit of your time today before i let you go do you have any last message that you would like to share with us today uh just just the just the usual thanks to so to my um to my team at titan fighter um thanks to my students uh, at fighter zone and um and um rowan my my new new uh, striking coach and uh, my manager um yeah it's just that's the normal stuff it's all good stuart Thank you again. Best of luck with your upcoming fight. Hopefully, I will hear again from you in the future. Cheers. Thanks, Judah. Speak to you soon. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.